Hey everybody! <laughs> Welcome to Cursed on Late Night Gaming. Now I have about a half an hour to explain what's going on. I haven't been uh, streaming for a while and I wanted to tell you why. Uh, one of the reasons if you follow me uh, here on Twitch, you know that I have been on the Dragon Punk server. And from what I understand, that is kind of coming to an end. And, um, isn't going to continue? Or if they, if it is going to continue, um, into a season three or something, I believe it's going to be in the extinction that's coming out on Tuesday, on the 6th. So, I would rather play extinction with my people from this, from my Ragnarok server. So... What I did, this actually isn't my normal Ragnarok server. Server, I have switched to G Portal from Logic servers because they are just so the interface is just so much easier to use. And what I did was created a cluster. And for those of you that know, a cluster is a group of uh, maps that you can jump from one to another. <gasps> So, we have here, um, Ragnarok is our main map. Is it going to be dark soon? Hold on. No, it's morning. Okay, good. Ragnarok is our main map. And then, I, so I set up three maps. I'm going to set up three maps. The second map is Crystal Isles. Because I, when I was on Dragon Punk, I really enjoyed Crystal Isles. There are mods on there I didn't enjoy, and I, of course, am not putting them on ours. Uh, one of those is Immersive Taming. It just slows down everything so much. I just, I didn't like it. I mean, it's cute, but it just isn't easy, and I just don't have time to tinker around with petting animals. And... So I'm not installing that. And then there's a lot of other mods that... <clears throat> now, I'm not lying here. I'm not exaggerating. When I would log into Crystal Isles um, Dragon Pump server, it would take me 40 minutes to get in. That's no lie. 40 minutes. So that is it loads all the mods which it had like 25 mods and then it would and then it would crash inevitably every single time. The first time it would crash on loading uh, snapshot 16 every time. And then you reload and it would do it again. Except this time it would load. But because it has to reload all the mods again, that whole time it would take is 40 minutes. Crazy. So there's no way I was doing that many, I'm doing that many mods for this cluster. But if we go here and look, you can go to travel to another server. And here we have Curse the Cluster, Crystal Isles. And there's going to be Curse the, Cus Curse the Cluster Extinction. Uh, when that is done. And then of course we have Ragnarok and we can just select that, join server, and jump back and forth. We haven't established anything there yet on Crystal Isles or of course Extinction because it's not out. But I just wanted to show what's going on. Now, that brings up an idea. Uh, I know a lot of other streamers do it. But for the amount of people we have here on Ragnarok, three full maps is massive. That's a lot of space. And we don't need that much space. But we just wanted to experience each of these maps for their own uniqueness. Like Crystal Isles has Crystal Wyverns and Crystal Griffins. It has all the apparition, animal, dinos, and everything. Pretty much has everything. And um, then Extinction, we don't know what that's going to have yet. We've seen a few teasers. 
But what I was thinking of doing is a lot of people set up a Patreon and people that pay like whatever, five, du five bucks a month or something can join the servers. And there's plenty of space for people. So I'm thinking of maybe doing that. Now we're gonna keep it small. Um, I've only got 10 slots per server. If I wanted more than that, it'd cost me more. And it's already costing a lot. So to help keep those costs down, it'd be great if, uh, if people that want to join would just pay like five bucks a month or something through a Patreon or whatever, just to help pay for the cost of the service going. Now, back to the transfer. So this is G Portal now. It, in my opinion, it feels like it runs a lot. It could be my imagination. It feels like it runs a lot better than the uh, logic servers. And 100% the customer support is much more friendly on the G portal than it is on logic servers. Um, but I had Pillars Plus installed, which allowed me to put pillars for, at least I think that's the correct one, but it didn't transfer over right. So now I have a floating platform but attached to nothing. Because it used to be, if you recall, a big rock that came up and it, would, it was on the top of the rock. Now, I'm not totally heartbroken about this. I don't like that it's floating, of course. But I want to, I think, remove it and build something proper there. Like a tower or something. Instead of the pillars, whatever. So that we can even remove that mod and get it down to like 7 or whatever on this server. So... That was the only thing I can see that didn't work. Now, Cat hasn't logged in yet since I did the transfer. So she may find things on her side that have been problems. But I went over to her house and Ellie's house and they looked fine to me. Everything on my side looks fine except for that. So I think we're good. I think we had a successful move and it was way easier than I expected it to be. And installing mods on G Portal is way easier than it is on Logic. Even though it was pretty easy on Logic, this was way easier. And setting up the cluster was super easy. And so what I want to know is, are people interested in that? If I have people on Instagram asking all the time if they can join my server. I think a lot of those people are on consoles. So, of course, they can't on console, join a PC server. But, um... Huh, never noticed. Ground looks so wet. But, um, anyway. So that's the idea. Now, these servers are going to be PvE. Um... So I don't know if that turns some people off, but... I mean, we could have one of them be PvP, I guess. But we'll see. We'll see what the interest is, and um, I'll get this update out there and see if I get any response. I mean, I'm obviously going to keep it. I paid them up to April or something like that. But it just depends on are people going to be in here with us or if is it just going to be us. So that's the question, and um, if you are interested, follow me on Twitter and let me know. Follow me here on Twitch and let me know in the comments of YouTube as well. I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube ahead of the regular Dragon Punk episodes to get this out there. And um, we'll see. We'll see if there's any interest in that. And um, I can post a mod list. It's not that much. It's S+. Plus, it's Platforms+. Plus, it's um, Pillars+. Plus, it's um, Creature Editions of... Brackies and everything from the um, archaeology event as real dinos and um, Archeon Turtle and some others that this other modder makes. Sa uh, Saddle Emporium. So that's about it, I think. Everything else is vanilla. Of course, we have increased daytime cycle, decreased nighttime cycle. We have. Um, Increased taming speed and maturization and egg laying and all that stuff. So, because we don't have time to sit around waiting, so we've increased all of that. Harvest is the same. Um, 
dino damage. I'm not messing with any of that stuff. All that is still vanilla. So anyway, uh, let me know if you're interested in that. And I just wanted to do this update. And thank you to G Portal for all your help. And I hope we can get this uh, get this going. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't have much more time before people come home and it gets noisy in the house. So um, thank you for dropping in. And like I said, follow me everywhere and let me know your thoughts. See you next time. Uh.